You should drink this. Or you should drink that. Let's find out. All right, so as always, it's not a pick one and that's the only one that you should drink. You can drink both if you want, but drink this or that is a series, uh, basically a, a small flight fight. I guess so, yeah. If you are walking into a liquor store and you see both of these on the shelf and you can only buy one bottle that day, we just wanna help weigh in on which one we think you should get. Now, I would say the underdog would be the Larceny Barrel Proof because Elijah Craig Barrel Proof has been out longer. It typically has an older age, age statement. statement. But, you know, this weeder has been improving a lot. That's true, it's and it's, out. you know, a lower price point as well. It is, $10 difference. Let's go ahead and get into that. $64.99, $74.99 suggested retail price. So not a huge difference, especially when we're playing in that price range, but still, it would be good news, I guess, if we liked the Larceny better, because it would mean that we would get to save a little money. But I have a feeling that most of you in the audience, if you had to guess, would say you would pick this one. We're gonna keep an open mind. We're not doing this blind, but I don't really have any skin in this game. I don't mind no. whichever one's better. It's just whichever one's better. As far as the matchup goes, these are both the September release. These are both C924. Mm -hmm. So the 2024 September release of both of these guys. The Larceny did just get a new label redesign, as mm -hmm. you can see here. It's supposedly has some black light uh, ink here that makes it easier to read. UV so ink, a, watch where you point oh, that thing. <laughs> UV ink, yeah. So um, yeah, it goes more into the lore of John E. Fitzgerald and how he was a treasury agent mm. and he had a penchant for stolen whiskey. That's how mm. Larceny got its name. He would go in, check things, and then, you know, thieve a little out of the barrels that he found the best. And uh, that's how you knew. Breaking the rules. If he had been in there, you could kind of see which uh, which barrels might not have some dust on it or might be shined up a little bit because you're laying over. Uh, that would be the barrels that you want to, uh, that he already had kind of said are the best in, in his mind. So mm -hmm. that's how it all came about. We'll just go ahead and tell you, we have the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in this glass, which is the full logo. It's Bourbonite logo. You probably can't see it from there, but. <laughs> yeah. And then the Larceny Barrel Proof is in what we call our monogram logo, which is over here in this hand on this side. Where should we start? Let's, well, let's lowest proof first. How about lowest that? Lowest proof first. Okay. I'm kind of inclined to start with the Larceny just because it's weeded, but. Well, I think it is the lower proof. So we got 129 on the dot and also 11 years Oof. on the dot. Oh, gross. Not 12, gross. Well, it sounds, it's gonna be fine. Kidding. Uh, but that's how some people think. I know, that's... Uh, 125.1 proof and no age statement, but six to eight years is what a Larceny is. So mm -hmm. we are starting with the Larceny, which is right here. Let's get into it. Ooh. That's a good nose. Oh, 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 oh. As I said, Larceny's, you know... I, feel like... I do feel like they've been kind of up in their game a little bit yeah. uh, when, with these releases recently. Ooh. A couple years ago, I was like, eh, I could take it or leave it, but... They had to find... It's sort of like a, a sitcom, or not even a sitcom, just a show, right? It's, it's kind of found its, its second season, rhythm. it finds its voice. Third season, it's really picking up, yeah. I get a lot of caramel in I here. I do get a lot of caramel on the nose, which I know is like very stereotypical I also answer. get vanilla. <laughs> oh, really? It's a lot of, and we say this a lot too, but desserty notes, I think. Yes. It kind well, of smells like a butterscotch brownie to me. Butterscotch Which brownie. is essentially just a caramel brownie. I like or that. A, Yeah. We've also said this a million times before, but if you're watching us for the first time, uh, a weeded bourbon is letting the sweetness of the corn show through because wheat is the less dominant grain. You know, gentle oak influence on that. I think it smells really nice, but yeah. I can't drink with my nose. So. Well, I mean, I could, but try. that would really burn. <laughs> to, to your health. Okay. More heat in the beginning then the nose was given off. But you know, 125.1. I'm gonna need to go for a second sip, obviously, but I might be willing to go ahead and say that's the best Larceny Barrel Proof I've had. That's pretty good. Uh, of course, you know us, we would say asterisk, must do it blind. We would wanna do it blind with, you know, previous releases yeah. just to confirm that we do really feel that way. But. but going off my memory, I think that's the that's, best one I've had. That's that's pretty good. And we, we will. water those. Before the, yeah, before the end of the year, we will do all three Larceny's blind. We'll do all three Elijah Craig's blind to find our best of the year. And then if we deem it worthy to go into our blind best of the year contention, it'll go in. We'll do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice oak influence on that. Really 
Also caramel. I mean, it's sort of classic caramel vanilla. That's mm -hmm. the, the main two things there. Desserty and oaky. Um, the wood has given it a nice little spice. Mm. Um, almost a cinnamon, mm -hmm. cinnamon spice. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'm really enjoying that. And man, the finish, it just keeps going. Really warms you up, settles in nicely. That's a good sip in bourbon. That is a good sip in bourbon. I like that. Hmm. Well, before we go on to Elijah Craig, we we'll hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing and my hat. The Glen Cairns we're drinking from, in fact, all of our glassware, including our mini Glens, our rocks glasses and Compitas. So where you can also find our bottle cut candles. We're working on doing a new restock of the bottle cuts, but always the jar candles are available there as well mm -hmm. at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where uh, all these fine people, that's how we found them, they found us. They help support the channel and in return, they get access to our barrel picks after the episode exclusives, events, and more. Getting ready to release a couple new barrel picks. Oh uh, yeah, actually, we got a couple coming too. Right now, just, just Finished the uh, the stickers for me the other day. A couple stickers, yeah, yeah. that's exciting so, stuff. There we go. Be on the lookout. Okay, before we go to Elijah Craig, we want to take a little break. So, uh, if you're watching this and you don't have YouTube Premium or anything like this, you may see an ad. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. And we're back. Thanks for sticking around. We got the. Elijah, Elijah Craig. Craig barrel proof again. This is 129 proof on the dot, and it's 11 years My on the goodness. dot. Okay. I should say 11 years is the youngest. That's yeah. true. This has an interesting fruity note. It's almost, and you're gonna think I'm crazy. I do. Pineapple upside down cake. I'm getting like a little bit of pineapple, <laughs> and like that syrupiness, you know, because when you flip it, it's confirmed. I do think you're crazy. But no, it's pineapple upside down cake. Oh, confirmed I'm, by Sarah. I'm, uh, okay. I'm gonna sit She's stand solidly in. in that camp. Yep. All in. Knows it against the larceny. I feel like they have a lot of the same DNA. I got too far in there. <laughs> I went too, I got too close. She went too deep. But the Elijah Craig has more of a um, silky, viscous nose, if that makes sense. You can smell textures? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that statement, but I understand what you're saying. I don't think that the nose-wise, they're that there's that much of a departure between them. I mean, That's they do smell different, but I don't know that I think that the Elijah Craig smells more viscous. Like it will be more viscous. Well, I don't think it smells like a pineapple upside down cake, but here we are. That's true. <laughs> Let's taste it to your health. Mm. Wow. Oh, well. This just got harder. That's lovely. That's really good. I'm gonna stand by like, it's not sweet like a pineapple upside down cake, but that's what it reminds me of. And I've never said that about a whiskey before. <laughs> not, I'm gonna stick with that note. See for a, 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 a pineapple, I mean specifically pineapple upside down cake, I feel like I would need to get a little bit of a tropical vibe just because of the pineapple. Mm. I'm not quite getting that. Okay, well that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Let get, me have my moment. Yeah, yeah, you have it. It's uh, to me anyway, it's more like a, it's more like a sugary drizzle over a cake. Oh, okay. So like when you make a cake and then you flip it over and then like all the sugars from the bottom like drizzle over the cake mm -hmm. from like fruit and sugar and stuff. Yeah, cool. Got it. Desserty also like the larceny. Mm -hmm. we, we, can, we can agree on that, yes. Yes. Now the question is this or that. I've only had one sip of the Elijah Craig so far. Oh, I've had two. Okay. So I need to go for my second Catch sip. up. Second sip here for me. Oh man, wow. I don't know that I could pick a nose that I prefer. I just said, I don't know that I could pick a nose. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends' noses. <laughs> Such a dad joke. Four points, uh, 3.9 points higher in proof, but it is very much showing higher proof, I feel like, in the Elijah Craig. I mean, I haven't gone back to the Larceny, but I do feel like it's got a better mouthfeel. What do you think? See, this is why we do things side by side, because I was, 100% Camp Larceny until I had the Elijah Craig. And now I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's where that $10 went. <laughs> oh. Well, it's got three more years on it at the minimum, right. at the maximum and the minimum. It's got, what I say, 3.9 <laughs> points and proof on Negligible. It. Negligible. It also has the legacy, the, I don't know, just that time the to- The reputation? The reputation, the time to tweak. And I do feel like, 2024 has been a great year for Elijah Craig. It has Bruce. been, yeah. I thought this was going to be an upset 
once we crack the larceny, but... Well, I feel like for the larceny to have taken the upset, it needed to face a less than stellar release of oh, Elijah Craig. Agreed, but this is a this is a pretty, pretty one. delicious one. So, what is it, Chad? This or that? Dang. All right, we'll do three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep, there it is, um, the to Craig. probably no one's surprise, but I don't know. I was a little surprised again. After, Closer than I thought. After tasting the larceny, I kind of thought, yeah, like you said, it was gonna be. Well, I went from being like it would be an upset if the larceny won to after tasting it being like, well, I don't know. But the Elijah Craig just brought its A game too. So I think moral <sighs> it's of the C story game. is it's a C. Oh, I see. It's brought its C game. Um, <laughs> moral of the story is I don't think either is a bad choice, but if you have the extra ten bucks. I would go with the Elijah Craig. If you have the enough for both and you want to do this yourself, highly encourage it. It's fun and you won't, I don't think, be disappointed between either of these. No. That's... You buy one, your friend buys the other one, then um, you guys have a, you bourbon, have a bourbon night. night. And you guys, that's bourbon nights are for. you do the taste off and you discuss. I feel like, <laughs> yeah. I will say this about the, uh, the larceny. I feel like this is sort of like a new, position, a new era for it. Um, it the, stepped into itself. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people will say, oh, they changed the label. It's different. I need to try it because it's a new label. We, <laughs> unless the distillery comes out and says like, hey, we're doing this different now and it's a new label. We don't buy into that. But I think it's just consequently, a, I guess. I don't know. That's the right word. Look for the new label, Larceny. I would Barrel say. proof. Yeah. It's a good one. It's maybe, as you said, the best one. It might be the best one. We'll find that out later, later. on. On towards, the next? Towards the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not on the next, it's no, Bourbon Night, but, but. This season on its Bourbon Night. This season on its Bourbon Night. Yeah, there we go. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. I hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon.